Hey YouTube, it's Story here, and today I'm bringing you a gold farming guide on how to obtain the Battered Hilt. Now this item starts a quest, which gives some weapons for Transmog. Uh, it's currently about 45 to 55k on the regional market auction house. I think it's about 60k on my reel. So I'm going to see, try my luck for an hour and see if I can farm one. I'm going to be doing a loot appraiser challenge with the subscriber Norbs. He's actually been doing the farm a bit lately to get his reputation up to buy the Mikado Hog. So that's another reason to do the farm, and he actually got two better hilts in a single run. So you get pretty lucky. So I'm just going to show you guys how to get there. So um, this is Ice Crunch Sizzle, and you just want to fly up to here. So just so you guys know where we are, just from the front of it here, you want to fly up to the little uh, platform here. It's just the entrance right here. So we're going to be doing this for an hour. I will show you my route real quick as well. Uh, just quickly show you which dungeon it is. So just to the right here. And yeah, we're going to farm this for an hour, and then we'll come back with the results, guys. Enjoy. Alright, so I'm just going to quickly show you my route. I also forgot to mention that the Super Psyman Sphere, which is quite a rare toy, it's buying on pickup, so you can't trade it or sell it. Uh, you can trade it if you're in a party with someone, but you can't sell it on the auction house. Um, it does drop in here. I actually obtained it in here farming the Battered Hill not that long ago. It is a very low drop chance, but I got this before I got a Battered Hill. So depending on your luck, uh, you never know. Uh, you also get some reputation. So you get Horde Expedition. That starts at neutral, and you also get these four underneath it. As you can see, I'm nearly exalted with five factions from this one farm. Uh, when you hit exalted with the Horde Expedition, all of these will be revered as well. So it's really quick and quite a good uh, reputation farm. But I'm just going to quickly show you my route. Uh, another, another quick thing to note is you don't need to go too quick. This run, you can usually cap 10 runs in about 30 to 40 minutes, depending how fast you're going. Even faster if you really maximize it. But yeah, I'm going to go now. Uh, enjoy the video, guys. Now, with this farm, I'd probably recommend you could do it in about 20 to 30 minutes before you hit the instance lockout. So, as you saw with the route we took, we just did the trash. Um, as you can see, Norbs was lucky and got a battered hilt, uh, which is currently 49k on the regional market value. So, he's actually got four in one week of farming, and he hasn't farmed like ridiculous hours. So, I think this is a really good farm. You just come do 20, 30 minutes just to instance cap, um, you know, just while you bit bored or something like that and you know if you get a battered hill or two you know you're looking pretty good as you can see i didn't get any i did get uh, a lot of greens a uh, tiny bit of leather tiny bit of cloth nothing too crazy but quite a lot of greens i think i'll end up just disenchanting them uh the disenchant bay is about 40 gold on each one so i'm probably looking you know about 5k gold for the hour you know it doesn't look very good for me but norbs is looking about 52k and really it's in about 20 minutes it's pretty quick and easy but yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned to see how you can win the uh, October monthly WoW token giveaway. Thanks for watching. To enter this month's WoW token video, head across to my Spine Claw Crab Gold Guide, which as you can see is currently priced at 262k regional market value. Watch the video, leave a comment, and hit the thumbs up button. The winner will be selected by choosing a random comment. This is open to US realms only, US and Oceanic, sorry EU. The winner will make a tune on my realm, and I will trade them the gold. It's then up to the player whether they wish to buy a mount or use a WoW token to buy game time or Blizzard net balance. Good luck guys and thanks for subscribing.